Do not be fooled by the shortness of this episode. There is some amazing healing modalities and healing work that is to be done with self-awareness, and that is what we're talking about today. So stay tuned. Hi, my beautiful friends. Welcome to the Danielle Shea podcast. My name is Danielle Shea, and I'm your host, and I'm a healing coach for sexual assault survivors and a lived experienced expert. That means that I'm a survivor too, and my mission is to ensure that all survivors know healing is possible. This platform, along with my coaching programs, are all designed to turn survivors into thrivers. I want you to live a joyful and fulfilled life. And if you're ready for some healing, let's dive into today's episode. This episode is all about how to become more self-aware after sexual assault. It's a shorter episode, but that doesn't mean that it doesn't have as much impact as the other ones. As survivors, we struggle with self-awareness. This is because we often are in a state of not feeling safe. According to Mavlov's hierarchy of needs, safety is the first thing we need before we can achieve any of the other levels, self-actualization being the top one. So how do you become self-aware? I'm going to share with you three ways to achieve a deeper level of self-awareness that I share with my clients in Thrivers Academy, my one-on-one coaching program, Turning Survivors into Thrivers. If you're interested in learning more about the Academy and deepening your self-awareness, then you can click on the link in the description, which will take you to Thrivers Academy. It'll also encourage you to join a free one-on-one coaching session called the Power Breakthrough Session, where you will get a customized healing roadmap and the next right thing you need in order to begin or continue your healing journey. For most of us, though, that is self-awareness, and again, that's what we're discussing today. So how do you become more self-aware? My three favorite ways to become self-aware is to meditate, ask yourself questions, and to take quizzes. Meditation is a powerful healing modality. It allows you to tap into your self-awareness and your body intelligence, which is often neglected after trauma. We get support outside of ourselves. We receive answers inside of ourselves. In other words, I highly encourage you to get a healing coach, talk to a professional, someone who can help support you through this healing journey. These people are going to give you the tools and the healing modalities that are going to walk you along that path. This is where you get support. However, this isn't where you get answers. You get answers from inside yourself, listening to your body intelligence, listening to yourself. Oftentimes when we listen to other people, we often neglect what our own body and minds are telling us because we are afraid that we aren't going to make the right decisions. This is why self-awareness is so important. Don't worry if you're having hesitation towards meditation. You have two other ways that we're going to discuss, and also you have plenty of opportunities to join guided meditation by listening to this podcast. In fact, in episode 14, I'm going to walk you through a guided meditation, which will allow you to develop your self-awareness further. But what if meditation doesn't feel accessible to you right now? That's fine. I encourage you to try this next healing modality to help you develop self-awareness, and that is to ask yourself questions. Have you ever come across one of those books that says like 3,000 questions to ask yourself? There's so many different kinds of those books. And the reason that there's just a plethora on the shelves is because, well, they work. Most of the books ask deep questions alongside seemingly not so deep questions. You'll get things like, what is my favorite color? What do I want my life to look like in 10 years? And what are you trying to avoid? I personally love these books. They have helped me get in tune with myself and they help my clients do the same. Besides going through a book like this, you can ask yourself questions to check in with yourself throughout the day. Ask yourself things like, how am I feeling right now? And why? What is my body telling me that it needs right now? Could it be a break? Water? Food? A hug? Laughter? Space to cry? Movement? The ability to power through? Your body is always talking to you. And if you take small moments out of your day to listen, it's going to become easier to become more self-aware. And the longer you listen, the easier it will be to hear the answers. 
in episode 15, I'm going to be walking you through a self-awareness worksheet where you can ask yourself questions and do hands-on healing work in real time. So be sure to check out episode 14 and 15 to continue your self-awareness journey. My last tip for this particular episode to develop self-awareness is to take quizzes. I love a personality quiz. They're so insightful and they're fun to take. I even love BuzzFeed quizzes, which are like, what Disney princess are you? Or what's your Patronus on Pottermore? Those quizzes are fun and silly, but there are personality quizzes that can really allow you to understand yourself on a deeper level. And sometimes we need to take these quizzes in order to have our truth spoken back to us. When you take quizzes like the five love languages or Myers-Briggs, they allow you to get a deeper understanding of yourself. I particularly love personality quizzes that are based in science and research. These types of quizzes will provide you with so much insight into who you are and what might be holding you back from healing from abuse. Self-awareness is a journey, just like healing. But when you really understand yourself, you understand your needs and your wants, decision-making gets easier, healing gets easier, your life gets easier. So developing self-awareness is one of the first things that I have my clients do in Thrivers Academy. You have access to free coaching through that Power Breakthrough session and also through continuing to listen to this podcast. So be sure to stay tuned for episode 14 for that self-awareness meditation and episode 15 for journaling prompts to help develop your self-awareness. Thank you so much for showing up for yourself today and for choosing your healing. I'll talk to you later. Wow, that was incredible. Did you get as much out of listening to that as I did in creating it? I hope you did. I hope you found it helpful and powerful and I hope that it allowed you to take action and choose yourself today. If you found this to be helpful, please share this with someone who needs to hear this message as well because we don't need to heal alone. Thank you so much for choosing yourself today and for listening. I'll see you next time.